What kind of person are you? Did you know that as Christians we're supposed to be optimistic? You've already heard this morning the great things God's doing. And by the way, ladies, you just sounded excellent today. Excellent. And I say yes, go for God 20 for 20. Positive people don't settle for less. And I was encouraged by Tijon today, your message. That's a positive statement you made this morning, brother. But you know, a lot of times we know people who are negative. Always seeing the bad side of things. Always complaining about things. God wants us to be different than that. I'll tell you a short little story. There were two twin boys, they were both about nine years old. And while they were identical twins, they were totally different in how they thought. One little boy always was negative all the time. The other one was positive. The parents really didn't know what to do about this. And they were talking to the pastor one day because he was aware of it as well. He says, I have an idea. Drop those boys off at my house out in the country. So on a certain day, the parents brought the boys there. The pastor took each of the boys individually to a separate room. To the boy who was negative all the time, pastor opened the door to a large room. And in that room were hundreds of toys. Different types of games, bicycles. Different types of bicycles. Pastor said, go in, I'll be back for you in two hours. He took the boy who was positive to another room. And when he opened this door to this large room, half of the room was filled with horse manure about six feet deep, high. Uh, horse manure, you know what that is? Horse... Um, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was very high. The other half of the room was empty. There was a shovel in there. The pastor said, I'll come back for you in two hours. So what the pastor had hoped was that the, the boy that was negative, he'd have all these toys, he'd be happy about something. And the boy that was always positive, now when he's in this room that doesn't smell very good, he'd probably be able to complain about something. Two hours went by, he went back to the room where all these toys were at. He opened the door and the pastor was shocked. He couldn't believe what he saw. He saw that boy sitting on a chair. He was pouting, he was sad. Pastor said, what in the world are you sad about? I mean, you got every toy you could possibly want and play with. The boy said, oh, Pastor, there's so many toys and games here, I don't know which one to play with. He remained negative. He goes in the room where the other boys are at. He opens that door and he cannot believe what he sees. When he opens that door, he sees that nine-year-old boy with that shovel. And he is shoveling that manure from one side to the other. Fast. And 
pastor likewise said, what in the world are you doing? Le pasteur a dit, mais mes amis, qu'est-ce que ça va faire comme ça? The boy said, oh pastor, with all this horse manure in here. Il dit, oh pastor, avec toute toilette et chouane qu'il a. I know there's got to be a horse buried underneath this. I'm trying to find him and get him out of here. Donc, moi, qu'on est, il doit gagner un cheval qui a été en bas là. Donc, ma presse m'a retiré, bah, il s'en a retiré le cheval là. Yeah. So you see the difference between being positive and negative. Donc, on sait la différence si bien entre le positif avec le négatif. God always wants us to be on the positive side of it. You see, if you're here today and you're negative, you need to understand that when God looks at you, he doesn't see that you're ne see a negative person. He sees his creation. And he only creates good things. God does not create junk. Bon Dieu pas créé mauvais tintin. God does not create depression. Bon Dieu pas créé dépression. God does not create negativity. Bon Dieu pas créé négativité. We know that Isaiah 29 verse 11. Nous connais Isaïe verset 20 Isaïe 29 verset 11. We know this verse well most of us. Nous connais la plupart de nous nous connais verset ça très bien. God says I know the plans I've got for you. Bon Dieu dit moi connais projet que moi gagne pour vous. They're good plans. They're not negative plans. They're positive plans. Plans to prosper you. And excel you forward. You see, God has a good plan for each one of us. You just have to start believing it. You need to receive it. And you need to walk in it. Don't worry about what other people are doing. You just worry about what you're doing with God. Stay positive. When you work on your relationship with God, you're not going to have to worry about the lions out in the street. Let those other negative people worry about the lions in the street. You see, those negative people aren't going to do anything because they think lions are in the street. But you being a positive person, you know who your God is. You know what your God did with Daniel and the lions then. And you also know that Satan, Satan is just like a lion roaring. So you need to stay positive. Donc on s'en besoin d'être positif. What do people think about you in your workplace? Qui ça vous pense de vous quand vous travaillez là? Are you positive there in your workplace? Est-ce que vous positif quand vous travaillez là? Are you saying, oh, I've got this work to do, I'm going to do it with all my heart? Et vous êtes positif, bon, je travaille ça pour faire, je vais le faire avec tout le cœur. Or do you say, oh, another day of work? Et vous dites, ou bien, ou bien, est-ce que vous dites, oui, mes amis, on l'a toujours mal travaillé? I can't stand coming here, it's a terrible environment. Ou pas, ou quand vous dites, oui, je ne suis pas capable de me faire là, on vient de me quitter. I don't make enough money. Ou à plein de are you positive at home? Ou bien est-ce que positif la caille? Your home life. Na la na la la vie ou après la caille. I don't like my house. I wish we could live somewhere else. Ou dis-on pas les mêmes cailles, mais ceux qui me dégagent habitent de l'autre côté. And how are you with your friends? Et qui j'en ai avec mes amis? Do people around you think that you're a positive or a negative person? Est-ce que mon qui n'a tout à jouer pas sur son mon qui positif ou bien sur mon qui négatif? What what do the people at work think about you? Qui ça mon qui n'a travaillé à voir penser de où? How about the people here at church? Do they think you're positive or negative? I want to share with you three things about negative people. There may be other things, but these three I want to share with you. Number one, negative people are often jealous people. Eh bien, premièrement, mon qui mon qui négatif, je te je sais souvent c'est mon qui jaloux. They just don't like the idea of someone else having more than them. Yo parle mais il est pour l'autre monde qui est plus bagay passé. Having a better job than them. Yo pour pour l'autre monde qui est plus bon job passé. Having nicer house, nicer clothes. Pour l'autre monde qui est plus bon belle car, plus belle rade passé. And so what they tend to do is make excuses. Ah, that person is not any good. Eh bien, ça aucun français fait ça, ça va pas mon bon bon monde. 
Ah, their clothes were ugly. You know, in Nehemiah, chapter 4, verse 3, Nehemiah was rebuilding those walls. And there were some guys that were jealous about that. They didn't want to see them do anything good. And Tobiah and his buddies said, Look at those walls they're building. Those walls aren't any good. Even if a fox walked on them, the walls would fall down. They were people who were jealous. Another thing that you need to know about negative people, they can be lazy. The Bible tells us in 20, Proverbs 26, 14. As a door turns on its hinge, so does the lazy person turn on his bed. In other words, when you close the door, you'll often hear that door squeak. That lazy person also in his bed rolls over slowly, side to side. He's not looking at doing any work. He's, he's making excuses why he can't go work today. Oh, it's raining outside. Or it looks like it's going to rain. I tried yesterday, why try today? And they're looking for the easy way out. They'll even say, oh God, just send someone by today to help me. They often just make excuses to stay home, stay in bed, and not do anything. They say, Tomorrow I'll start. Negative people. We know they're jealous. Lazy. And a lot of times, get this. They're complainers. Every pastor in every church knows all about the complainers. Nothing is ever done the way they would have done it. They always have a better way of doing things. Never a positive word, always negative. Oh, oh pastor, why did you put blue curtains up? Red would have looked better. Oh, pastor, I would never put the tile down in this church. I I'd have done something different. I'd have maybe turned the poles a different way, turned the building a different way. You know, we put the poles a different way, turned the building a I don't know why the boss didn't ask me before he made that decision. I could have told him a better way to do it. The boss should have asked me. Now you know Job went through some tough times. And if you read Job a little bit, you might even think ah, he's complaining about something. And you know he was complaining. But I like what Tijan said that he had to get in the presence of God or have an experience with God before he understood things a lot better. And Job takes about 40 verses of dialogue or speaking with his friends. And finally, God answers Job. And God says, who is this person talking to me? He acts like he's the big authority. Or another way that God could have said it. Oh, Job, I'm sorry. Oh, Job, excuse me. I, I forgot, you're the creator, I'm the creation. God would have said, oh Job, I'm sorry, I forgot. 
You're the potter, I'm the clay. Eh bien, bon Dieu, t'es gâté, Job. Excusez-moi, c'est vous-même qui potez, c'est à moi-même, c'est à Job. Oh, Job, oh, you're the boss, I'm the employee. Eh bien, bon Dieu, t'es gâté, Job. C'est vous qui patron, excusez-moi, moi-même, c'est employé qui m'y est. No, that's not what God says. Mais bon, c'est pas ça, bon Dieu dit. And Job, being a just man, et bon, Job, le fait que ton homme qui est juste, he covers his mouth and he says, I've spoken once, I won't speak again. Et Job met les mains sous bouche, il me dit, il me dit, il me parle une fois, pas parle encore. Job was a good man because he understood who God was finally. Eh bien, Job c'est ton bon monde parce que finalement tu comprends qui est mon Dieu. Jonah was a negative guy. What? Jonah. Jonah c'est ton mec qui est négatif. I don't know why he's negative. Mais par contre pourquoi ça négatif? I mean God, if God speaks to you and says go do something, aren't you going to go do it? Donc si mon Dieu parle à vous, il va le faire. Jonah said, I'm not going to do that. God, you don't know what you're talking about. Eh bien, Job dit, ne pas faire bagarre ça à mon Dieu. Pas mon Dieu qui soit pas. See, negative people always complain. Eh bien, les gens qui négatifs toujours plaignent. And they think they know a better way. Yo quand yo pensez au qu'on est un plus bon façon de faire. In the meantime, when you look at them, et entre temps, regardez eux. They got nothing. So Jonah takes off, you know the story. And even being after he was rescued from the belly of that great fish, you would think Job would change his thinking. You would think that after Job walked three days through that town of Nineveh, and the people got saved, the Bible says the king of that city the, the ruler of that city, they put on sackcloth and repented. La Bible dit que un chef la roi pays ça il te mette sac sur lui et puis il te repentit. Isn't that a reason to rejoice? Est-ce que c'est pas un un raison pour ta réjouir? No. No. Not for Jonah. No, c'est pas pour Jonas. He went up on a hill. Il monte son petit bout en petit mois. Like that little boy in that room full of toys, sat there and pouted. Même j'ai un petit nez qui est entré dans chambre qui chargé avec avec Jonas et puis qui boude hein. Crying around. Et bien la prière. And God says, what are you mad about, Jonah? Well, you didn't do things my way, Lord. I have a right to be mad. I just want to die. Jonas, you want to say bagay aux gens vleyant, eh, Seigneur, mon Dieu, et une raison pour me fâcher. Tu tombes de mourir. But God says, weren't those hundred and twenty thousand people worth repenting? Mon Dieu dit, est-ce que vous sentez même mes mouns qui n'ont pas vu ça, ils n'ont pas vu la peine, ils n'ont pas vu la peine, ils n'ont pas vu la repentance? When you're negative, you don't think right. Le ou négatif, vous pas pensez droit. God doesn't think negative, he thinks positive. Mon Dieu pas pensez négatif, il pensez positif. When you're negative, you don't even act right. Le ou négatif, pas même agir bien. And as Christians, we're supposed to look and act like Jesus. Amen. Et bien en tant que chrétiens, nous avons besoin de penser, nous avons besoin de marcher tant que Jésus va venir. So a negative person, we know that they can be jealous, lazy, and they are complainers. Complainers, thank you. Nous connaissons que les gens qui sont négatifs, nous connaissons tout d'abord, ils sont jaloux, ils ne sont pas les seuls, et puis c'est les gens qui plaignent. So let me give you three quick things about positive people. Et bien, on va vous trois bagages rapidement au sujet de les gens qui sont positifs. Positive people are people that encourage. Et bien, les gens qui sont positifs, c'est les gens qui encouragent les gens. They're workers. Ils sont les gens qui travaillent. And they're exhorters. Ils sont les gens qui ont exhorté les gens. They're looking for the best always. Ils ont toujours cherché ça qui est bon. You know, Paul tells us in Philippians 1.6. La Bible en Paul dit nous dans Philippiens premier verset 6. You know when Paul would see you having a tough day, a bad day. Le où on est là pour être en mode en journée qui est difficile, en mode qui rêve. And things aren't going good. Et puis par ailleurs pas de marche bien. And you know we have days like that, amen. Amen. Nous on nous gagne journée pour ça, pas vrai? Yeah, sure we do. But we're not going to live in those days. Mais nous pas pas vivre nos jours ça. It's just a passing thing. C'est un bagage qui passager que les pas brûlé. But Paul says this. Mais mais ça Paul dit. That he who began a good work in you, he's going to see it to completion until the day that Jesus comes back. La veille pour que la cheville salte et commence à venir jusqu'à jour que Jésus nous retourne. Now one of the best examples, and I've used it before here. You know, people, an example that we've used here already is MEV. C'est MEV. And while we know the church is not this building, parce que nous pendant que nous connais l'église c'est pas la caille là. Part of the vision of this church was the building and other buildings. Eh bien, par mon parti dans vision l'église, c'était l'église, ça c'était l'édifice, ça et puis l'autre édifice. Go back 20 years. Si nous faisons back 20 ans de cela. What What do you see here 20 years ago? Ça qui sortait ouais 20 ans de cela. Not much. C'est pas très grand bagage. A lot of people said a little broken down old building over there. Eh bien, il y a il y a un qui a il y a un casé dans l'autre building ça casse là. There were many people that would go by ça. 
Hey, Marcel, he don't know what he's doing. That building, that, is, that, building that building is shabby and weak. If a fox walked on it, the walls would fall down. You see, ah, eh, eh, got the eh, ta kai salam bati on tel mo fe. Même si on voit na ta volé sous mi sa la plaque la tête. But Pastor Marcel, being a positive person, mais Pastor Marcel, le fait que son qui positif, said I'm not gonna listen to that. Il dit à pas écouter mon ça. I'm not gonna listen to people talking negative in my ear. Mais pas entendre mon négatif, mais pas écouter mon négatif. I'm not going to listen to lazy people or complainers. Because God gave me a plan. Because God gave me a plan. He gave me a plan to prosper me. And he said in his word that he's going to complete things until he comes back. So you don't have to ask Pastor Marcel what he's going to do. If a hurricane hits this place, you already know the answer. He's going to clean this place up and keep building. Why? Because God gave him that word. Why? Because God's encouraged him that he's going to complete those things. Amen. Amen. Now, positive people are also workers. You're not going to find them sitting around too long being still. They're going to look for something to do. Even if they're not going to get paid. Because they've got to be building something, looking for something good to do. You know, when things aren't going the way that you want them to go. A positive per person says, I've tried and tried. And, and a lot of people are telling me just to quit and give up. But I'm going to stay with it. I'm going to believe because I know who I serve. I serve the positive God. You know, Papi, my son-in-law, he told me when he was a young man. I think 12 or 13. He knew and believed. He knew and believed. That someday he was going to go to America. And he would talk to different people. Not everybody, just a few people. He said, how are you going to do that? He goes, I don't know, but I believe it's going to happen. And Papi worked towards that end. Paul said in the Bible, Paul said in the Bible, if you don't work, you're not going to eat. So you have to work. You've got to be doing something. And finally, a positive person looks at the good things. He's always telling you the positive things. You walk outside as a negative person. Oh, it's, it's cloudy out today. And the positive person says, yes, I see the clouds, but don't you see the Sun? Don't you see the blue skies? It's going to be a good day today. Paul says this about things. You think you've got a reason to be negative? Let me tell you some things that happened to me. I've been beaten times without number. I've been in danger of death. Five times I received from the Jews 39 lashes. Three times I was beaten with rods. I was stoned. I was stoned one time. Three times I was shipwrecked. A day and a night I've spent in darkness. I've been in freak on journeys that often ended in danger. Dangers from robbers. My fellow countrymen. Dangers from Gentiles. Dangers in the city. Dangers in the country. 
I've been working, working, working in hard labor for the kingdom of God. Many times I went with no food. Sleepless nights. Cold and hungry. Wouldn't you think Paul's got a reason to be negative about something? That's a tough life. As a matter of fact, I don't know anybody that I know it's lived the life like Paul. And still walked away and said, I can do all things through Christ. He wasn't ready to give up on God. He was ready to move ahead with God. So let's look at our lives a bit here today in Haiti. You may say today, oh, but Ross, you don't know the life I've had. God you, God, you don't know the life I've had. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. No one but maybe Jesus. My question is your life today. Some of you are my age or older. How many presidents have come and gone in your lifetime? How many presidents have come and gone? Okay, combien, combien, combien présidents nous qui viennent et puis qui allent pendant que nous vivons? So I can remember President Aristide. Moi, quand j'ai changé président ici. President Preval. President Preval. President Martelly. President Martelly. President uh, Moise. President Moise. Three of them gone. Et bien, et voilà, donc passé. You're still here. God still got something for you to do. How many hurricanes have you lived through? You didn't die in those hurricanes. That's a positive thing. You're still here. You've been through one earthquake. And you're still here. And this year you went through Corona. And you're still here. That's something to be positive about. Amen. If you're here today and you've maybe been a little bit negative, maybe not. Or maybe you've been a lot negative. Today is the time to change. You heard the lady sing about it. You heard Tijon give his testimony and ask for apology about it. If, if you want your Christian walk to be happier, fuller, and more prosperous, then you need to think, act, and live positive in Jesus. Be optimistic about your surroundings. And guess what? When your life and your surroundings are positive, people around you are going to want to be around you. People at work are going to like to see you come to work. And people in this church are going to want to sit next to you. Why be negative when we've got the Lord Jesus on our side? He's our victor. He's our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He's the great Jehovah. He's our peace and healer. He's our lily of the valley. I believe and declare to you in Jesus' name. If you make this change, you're going to see life and experience in Jesus Christ in a new way. Now, if you receive that and believe it, stand on your feet and let's give God a hand. Come on. Amen. 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 serve a positive God. And while you're on your feet, I want to give you a chance today. You may be here today and say, God, I've been negative on God. I've been negative on you, Lord. I've been bad-mouthing you all over town. 
God, today I see. You're the creator, I'm just a creation. You're the potter, I'm the clay. You're the boss, I'm the employee. I've had it all wrong. Today, Lord, I repent of that. I'm going to get my life right today. I want to invite Jesus into my life. And let him be the Lord and King of my life. If that's you today, just lift your hand right now.